Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a 1968 Tahoe Turquoise Ford Mustang. This is a really unique car because it has real mileage. We bought it from a very close friend of ours, Mr. Green, and I think this is one of my favorite purchases of 2021. Let's go into full details, but before that, please be sure to like and subscribe below. As I look at the overall condition of this Mustang, I'd rate it a 8 out of 10. Extremely nice driver quality car, undersides nice, it does have all the options you want and it does have the original build sheet, which I will include along with the breakdown of all the items on there. So this, these are copies, but I do have the, oh, this is the original right here. Really neat. So this is an original V8 car, does have aftermarket vintage air, power steering, power brakes, recent brake service. And another thing I wanna talk about is our inventory. 95% of our inventory is owned by us. So when you're calling us, we're not just trying to figure out what the other person did to it. We own this inventory. We're able to do better deals, figure out pricing for shipping. We don't have to worry about being the middleman. Back to this one. When you look down the driver's side, extremely clean. You can see those beautiful bucket seats in there. And then that center shift has white wall sentry tires. And you have the 289 emblem right here with the chrome Mustang badging. And this is really a beautiful car. I'm going to open up the hood right now. So this has hot heat and cold air. 289, as I said before, you've got your vintage air compressor, all new belts, new battery. You've got uh, power steering, which would be down here, and your power brakes. It does have a Mustang dress-up kit, and it does have a fireball uh, coil as well. It does look like it still has points, which is great uh, for originality. And the mileage is true mileage. It's on the title, and we will show you that if you guys need to see documentation of that. When you look at the top of the hood, all of the metal is beautiful. All the screws are correct. The latches work as they should. This is just a true prime example of a 68 Mustang. Chrome bumpers look good. And 68s have that signature giant mouth right here. You got your Ford Mustang emblem right here, which is original. That's not an OER piece. You've got the swooping design that goes down the side. And then when you open up the door, you're gonna see that the interior is extremely clean. It does have an aftermarket wooden steering wheel, but all the gauges work as they should. The AM radio works as it should. And this is truly a, a really beautiful piece for us to be able to showcase. I'm gonna put the glass up so you can see how smooth it is. Nice and clean. All of your bright work around it's nice. You do have uh, additional ventilation right here. And it all seals up nicely. You have your Ford panel. And I don't see any body work or damage throughout. And when you close the door, listen to it. Solid. Roof is very nice. All your bright work around it's nice. The same with the rear glass. That looks like the original rear glass and all the trim pieces look original too. This is a repaint, but they did a great job. Um, I do see a couple of imperfections, but overall, very, very nice. Rear chrome has been replaced. That looks beautiful. Taillights are in great shape. And this is still the original gas cap right here. Got your Mustang insignia right here. And all the bright work around it looks good. Uh, trunk edging. It's pretty even throughout. Passenger side looks great, just like the driver's side. I don't see any wrinkles. I do see a little bit of mud that is up here, right here, but that comes right off. Tires have about 90% tread. Passenger side's very nice, and you do have a aftermarket center console with cup holders for Red Bull and a, uh, what's that beer that everybody's talking about now? Twisted Tea. Mustang emblems over here look great. Your 289 badge looks good. Let me start it up so you can hear how nice it sounds. And then I'm also going to open up the trunk at the same time. Starting it right now. Very healthy. Doesn't have any smoke or hesitation. And remember, go onto our site and look at the gallery. It's going to have underside shots, a full description, a breakdown of the color combinations, and anything that could be wrong with the vehicle. But this one, very, very sorted, and I'm happy that Mr. Green and I were able to come do a deal on this one. Let's open up the trunk. Sorry about all the noise. They're doing construction and the airport's flying right off. 
Trunk is extremely clean, no rust where you would find it normally. Oh, this looks good. I do see a little bit of filler right here, but solid, you still have your numbers right there. Um, underneath, <laughs> that's funny. Look at my Mustang, but don't touch it. Looks good back here, you do have a spare tire. Overall, this is a really sorted car. Let's go ahead and take it for a ride. All right, let's fire it off again. No gas is given. When it's cold, you obviously have to pump the carburetor a couple times, but that's it. So I wanna show you this. So this is the breakdown for the vehicle. We've got the 65A, which is talking about the body. So it's a Mustang two-door hard top with bucket seats. The color is a U, so it's a Tahoe turquoise. The trim, just a standard bucket, all vinyl black. And the production date was March 27, 1968. Uh, it was shipped to New York. The axle code is a 279. Transmission to C4, which is a great transmission. And it was built in Matushin. The engine is an actual original V8, 289, two valve. And all this documentation is visible, as I showed you earlier, on the build sheet that's gonna be included with the sale, along with recent receipts for brakes. Let's go ahead and put it in gear and go for a ride. If this doesn't sell the car, I don't know what will. Okay, we're gonna go for a ride now. Uh, we do have vintage air. It does work and it is cold. You have your heat controls over here as well, and this is really cold. Uh, AM radio. Because loose teams are confident teams. Rear seats are nice. It has the correct Ford uh, seat belts, and the headliner is very nice as well. I'm going to put it in drive right now. It goes into drive easily. Uh, you can feel the power brakes. Easy to use. Your windshield wipers are up here, comparative to other years, so you just do that, and it works. Steering, extremely responsive. Uh, when we get on Ravens, we'll just drive it normally. This is definitely not a race car. This is something you can just jump in and drive to a car show. I mean, it'd be cool to put a more powerful motor in it, but it doesn't need it. It's original motor. 74,669 original miles. Speedometer's working as it should. Right now, it's, it's climbing smooth to 40 miles an hour. We've got a three quarters of a tank of fuel. Our temperature gauge is slowly going up and the clock looks to be working as well. Horn works, it tracks even, so we're going over uneven terrain right now and it doesn't pull left or right. Uh, let's see how the brakes are as well. So when I push the brakes, it pulls a little bit to the right, but it's not bad. Very easy to drive. All right, we're going to turn left here instead of right and test it out. Shifts firmly at 40 miles an hour, and we're at 55 miles per hour. Extremely smooth transition throughout the power band. Uh-oh, there's the police. Hope you guys enjoyed that test drive. We're gonna get some outside shots of this car right now so you can make a better decision on if this is gonna be the right car for you. If you have any questions at all, give us a call at 954-363-2261. See ya.